Hello everyone and welcome to another video of MG Fixit um, Bugs and Errors and today I'm gonna talk about this error non-system disk error and I have a lot of hard drives but at the moment I unhook them and the one that's actually running is my SSD down there and the reason that I got this error I wanted to clone a uh, the system uh, files from that drive onto this SSD but cloning from one SSD to another wasn't such a good idea and that's why I got this error and there are also some other things that might have caused this like usually when you unhook the drives or stuff like that but in this case I'm certain that all the plugs are unhooked at the moment because I don't want any other extra errors and as I said I got this error from copying from one SSD drive to another so today I'm gonna discuss this issue and gonna try out some things on how to fix it so I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna record multiple bits that I'm gonna paste and post and stuff like that in the editing once it's back up and running so I can actually see, let you see, guys see and give you guys some uh, tools and tips about how to fix this issue if you're absolutely certain that your hard drives are functioning and plugged in properly and stuff like that so without further ado I'm gonna pause this video and I will see you once this is uh, a step further and here we are again um, as far as I done uh, at the moment is I added in the uh, Windows uh, bootable drive or the Windows disk in order to uh, start to fix because first we want to know if we can still access our data on the drive so as you can see it's still being recognized and as you can see it's still my normal SSD that I wanted to copy is still out and all the other hard drives are still unplugged as you can see like power and here are the other powers so all the drives are still unhooked and it still recognizes the drive so we do know that the drive is in fact functioning however as you can see it says D and in a moment we will be going to fix that so we go to next and then we are going to open this and from there on I will guide you in a second part of this video on what you can do and try next and my apologies for the camera because it doesn't always want to focus and I'm working with a phone so my apologies for that and I will see you guys in a bit okay here's a <coughs> another part of the uh, video as far as you can see I typed in uh, CD double point and then CD windows and then I typed the following bits and see if this will fix the issue if not I will try some more things for you guys So after that's been done, it's time for a reboot, boot, reboot and see if it boots up in Windows. If not, we will continue uh, fixing the issue. Okay, here we go. We uh, just uh, selected the reboot button and uh, let's see if we can reboot. And there we have it. We just fixed our boot. And as you can see, we have two little bits here, but we only need the first one. And I will tell you how to fix this uh, boot error. And as you can see, it's booting Windows. And my apologies that my camera is constantly getting out of focus. And without any data lost, you will be able to boot in uh, into Windows as you can see. 
And I keep in mind I did overclock my system so it might freeze up a little. But uh, there you have it. All my data. And uh, as you can see only one drive. So now we go I'm gonna show you uh, in the next part of the video how to fix that boot issue. There go, next part of the video. We type in the search bar under start msconfig and there it is. Press enter and then we get this window. Then we go to boot. Oh no, wait. There we go. And then we simply select this one and click delete. And that's all there is to it. Then click apply. And that should be it. And uh, let's restart and uh, I'll show you that the bug is fixed. And um, hopefully this information was uh, helpful to you guys. And after that boot is fixed I can hook it up again and reconnect all the hard drives. And uh, yeah, then uh, everything should be back to normal. And if I'm correct, we should no longer get that boot message anymore, so it will go straight into Windows. And as you can see, boot message is gone, going straight to Windows, without any data lost. And as I said before, some people get that error by uh, having troubles and stuff like that, and we can skip this. If my keyboard wants to activate. There we go. Don't need to check my drive because I know it's functioning properly. I will do it later. And there you have it. Back in Windows without any uh, trouble at all. And without any data lost. So that's how you fix that error. So hopefully this was helpful. And uh, hope to see you guys another time. Thank you for watching.